Hi, this is Handy Doctors. Today, I'm going to show you how to clean the drain pan screens of a washer machines. Uh, nowadays, we all rely on the washer machines a lot. It's a convenient item to have. But sometimes, washer machine can get into problems. One of the problems is the drain pumps. First of all, every washer machine will have a drain pump to remove the water. Sometimes some other item can also get sucked into the drain pump and get caught at the screens and it will become clogged so water will not come up properly. What's going to happen? Uh, it might take much longer to wash your laundry. Or even worse, the laundry will not become clean at all and it may give you an error message. So, how can we deal with that? Let me show you. First of all, be safe. So, unplug the power, unplug the powers, and turn off the hot water and the cold water supply. Very simple, but you always need to do that. This is a Whirlpool front loading washers. But pretty much for every washing machines, the drain pump is on the bottom of the machines because this is simple physics. Um, water needs to come down by gravity from the tank to the bottoms, so then the drain pump can remove all the water, as a matter of fact. So they should be on the bottom, they may be at the back, they may be at the front. For this one, it's at the front. But for your washing machines, you may need to do some research yourself and see where it is. So this one is very easy to remove. As a matter of fact, um, all you need to do is, you see there are three screws out here, one, two, and three. They are simple one quarter size screws. You just remove them. And after that, you can just drop the cover. The cover will just come up in that way. So now you see the cover has been dropped. Uh, here is the drain pump. So this is the drain pump. Okay. Uh, the drain pump screen is inside these housings and you can turn it. So let's turn it. Well, I have to tell you, it's not easy to turn by hand. It's very, very tight. So you may need a tool. Okay, now let's get a tool and turn it counterclockwise, counterclockwise. It's still really tight, so go slow, be patient. It will come off, it takes several turns, and then you can open it up. Now the cat has come off, so let's see what's inside. Well, I see two quarters. Well, I guess I'm rich today. Some super dirty money for sure. And a sock in size. Well, that's probably why water could not come up too easily, I guess. And let me tell you the truth. It totally stinks. Super bad smells. What that means usually is bacteria are growing in size. And you probably don't want that happen in your drain pump or your washing machines for sure. So definitely we should clean it sometimes. So now again, let's look at the items. Two quarters and a socks. So let's remove them and slow them away. Well, in fact, I cleaned the two quarters and saved them as a matter of fact. The cap and the screen in fact can be separate. So I separate them and at least try to rinse it with some water to remove some of the dirty stuff inside. Then I use some soap and a toothbrush to clean the screens. Uh, it not only make it look better, it probably will kill and remove some of the bacteria growing on it. 
and that should be better for your laundry. So now we can put it back. Uh, for these machines, it's really easy. You can only put the screen back in one direction. The reason for that is the tab here, and there's another one on the buttons. The two tabs are different. Because of that, you could not put them in, in any other directions. Uh, your washing machines may not have these nice designs. If that is the case, you need to make records at the beginnings which direction it should go. And if you forget to do that, let me tell you how to figure that out. You just have to think about it. Remember, the water coming from the top, from the tank, right? So because of that, we want to catch any big item coming up from the water. So the screen should face on top. So any big item will be catched here. Does that make sense to you? And they will only go in this way to be effective. So let's put it again. And then we just tied it, tied it until you could not go any further. There is actually a stop here. Make sure that you could not over tie it. And now you put the cover on and you're done. Okay. Hopefully your washing machine will be again very effective. Thank you very much for watching. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe. I will have more video coming up in the future. Again, thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.